Hey everybody, it is the Drizzle with my main man over here, Daryl. Yeah, I'm Daryl. And I wanted to talk about the Stallone movie Cobra. I'm big on 80s horror. If you know me, you know what I like. And Cobra's good. It's almost a horror movie. It's about a militant cult loose in L.A. They're all street punks converted by a leader called the Night Slasher. The point is that they want to beat society and ignite a new world order somehow by killing decent people. Son of Sam style. Sylvester Stallone is a cop who tries to prove it's an army. The other cops don't like him. They hate Cobra because he's getting the jobs they don't want. They believe the killer is just some freak. Cobra knows what he's talking about though because he's on the zombie squad. He handles violent crimes. The Night Slasher is Brian Thompson. He's been in some other movies. I know that he was Bosworth in Fright Night 2. He was in Dragon Heart. He was the guy, he was in League with the Dragon. But he was in Terminator 1. Brian Thompson was the street punk who had his spine ripped out for pulling a switchblade on the Terminator. The Cobra knife that it uses isn't a movie prop, it's a knife you can buy. You can get it cheap or expensive and with or without the spikes. The part that's hard to take in Cobra is the super ma supermarket massacre at the beginning. When they send a man to shoot up a discount market to get publicity for the group. But if you can get past the start, it's good. Cobra is better than its rank in a top five dumbest movie. It's underrated. And if you're big on imagery, you would like the cult emblem that keeps cropping up in the movie. They all have tattoos of the skull thing. And I was even able to draw it. I copied it from the movie. What do you think about it, though? Um, I would say that there's a lot of controversial issues in, in the movie. Um, if you like shoot 'em up, blow 'em up um, movies similar to like The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is a movie that's up your alley. Um, very, very violent. Lots of interesting things in it. Um, Brian Thompson is a good actor. I actually have seen a few of his other movies. Um, I would say on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give it about an 8.5. Um, the only thing I would really like to see uh, if they ever did redo this is just keep the original people in the movie, but just have a little bit more storyline to it. Um, in don't follow the, the love interests a little bit. Like that corny thing with him and Brigitte Nielsen. Yeah, that was a little too much for my taste. That yeah, was I mean, kind of stupid. Yeah. If they just kept it more about the action and fighting and things, um, you know, I would just uh, go with that. But other than that, I think the movie is perfect. Um, you know, for an 80s movie, if you're a Stallone fan, check it out. I mean, the other movies he's been in are, are pretty good, too, like Rocky and